Hi, welcome to my channel. So today's video is 2015 favorites. I can't believe it's the end of 2015 already, but here we are. So I've been loving a lot of beauty products this year, so this video will deal with all of my beauty favorites. Um, I'm going to have another one next week that'll deal with all my video game favorites and all of my, like, other favorites, like fashion and craft patterns and all of that stuff. So today's all about beauty, so let's just get started. Beauty starts with good skincare, and this year I felt a lot of changes in my skin as I get older. My skin's starting to dry out a lot in my cheeks, and even some in like my T-zone, where I would never have used heavy creams in the past because I would be afraid that it would make me oily. I um, feel like I'm using them a lot now to uh, save my cheeks from just feeling like tight and dry. So I completely changed everything about my skincare this year and I think that my skin looks and feels a lot better because of that. It was one of my goals for 2015 was to get better about taking my makeup off at night and making sure that I take good care of my skin because I'm now at that point where I'm going to start needing the anti-aging products and I should probably take better care of it. So the first thing I did was get a Clarisonic and you all know what a Clarisonic is. Mine's drying right now otherwise I would have brought it in here but I didn't want it dripping all over the bed. Um, but I use a Clarisonic three times a week in the morning and on those mornings I use this. It's the Pacifica Seafoam. Um, Pacific is a Portland, Oregon company, so that's kind of awesome. I like the smell of it. It's got coconut water. Yeah, it's got coconut water in it and um, some other antioxidants, but it's really super gentle and it foams up really great, giving me like a nice like cushiony barrier between the Clarisonic and my face because I was afraid the Clarisonic would really like uh, over exfoliate my face but this is like the perfect like combo to go with that so and it's pretty cheap I think it's like 10 12 bucks get it at the grocery store I can get it at most grocery stores though I don't know if that's because I'm in Portland and they're from Portland but you can definitely get it at Ulta and I would try it if you have oilier skin um, I've heard a lot of good things about their um, new kelp one and in the summer I may switch over to that but this has been a game changer with the Clarisonic because I didn't think it was going to work but then I found this and it's worked like a dream. The other thing I started doing was the Korean Beauty two-step cleansing method. If you've never heard of that before it's an oil cleanser followed up by a foaming cleanser and you may think like why are you doing that much cleaning but the oil in the oil cleanser really breaks down like your makeup and the face oil I found like on my nose and my forehead that I was still getting. Um, it really broke that down and made it so that like the cleaner could do its job. And my favorite um, cleansing oil, and I tried a couple this year, um, I tried, I originally started with the um, Josie Marin Argan Oil, and that was really super heavy, and I didn't like that a lot. And then I tried the Neutrogena one, and it was kind of the same thing. I felt it was, like, too heavy. But uh, the Face Shop, which is a Korean brand, makes a Rice Water Bright Cleansing Light Oil. And this stuff is amazing. I put two pumps in my hand in the morning and at night. on day In the morning on days I don't do Clarisonic, and I just let it massage it in and then splash water on it and um you have to make sure it gets really milky otherwise it won't wash off all the way so then i wash it off and then i use a makeup eraser to take that off with and after that i do a second step and the foaming cleanser i found for that that i've liked is by another korean brand it's called Innisfree, and this is the Jeju Volcanic Pore Cleansing Foam, and this stuff is amazing. Um, it, it really feels like, I know you can't tighten up your pores, but like the difference between pores looking really big and pores looking like coverable is like how much like dirt is in there, and I feel like this just really, really gets in there and like 
gets it out. It's good, it's super cheap, I can get it for about $10 on Amazon, and that's the, the rice oil is about the same, it's about $10 to $11 on Amazon, depending on who you get it from, but this stuff is great, I love it. Um, they also make another one that I have ordered because I think this might be a little too hard as it gets like colder and colder towards the winter, but um, they have like an olive oil one that I'm going to try in the winter, but that brand has been great. I also used a powder from them that was great this year. Um, the other thing I've used that's Korean beauty is snail recovery gel, and this is the Mizone snail recovery gel, and it's 74% 74% snail secretion, and um, I've seen a lot of difference in the like firmness of my uh, cheeks and like like my under eye area and my skin in general, it makes it really plump and really smooth. It smooths out my pores. If I consistently use this every morning and every night uh, right before my moisturizer, I have super smooth skin. And again, I got this from Amazon. It was probably 10 or $11. Um, and it's a good thing because a shipping accident of like the weirdest kind brought a moisturizer I swore I would never try because I didn't want to know how great it was into my life. And um, that is the Creme de la Mer uh, uh, moisturizer. And as everyone knows, it's the super expensive $85 an ounce moisturizer. Thank goodness you don't use it that much of it. And I only use it as, at night to... Um, to seal in all of the like other stuff I've put on my face, like the essence and the the snail cream. I put that on, let the snail cream seep in, and then I put this on at night. I don't really put it on in the morning unless I'm not going to wear any makeup at all. If I'm going to wear makeup, I'll put uh, Clinique's gel moisturizer on and then put um, my foundations because uh, I tend to have more dewy foundations and so if I put the creme de la mer on in the morning and then put makeup on it it's not it's not pretty <laughs> so those are the things that I've been loving with skincare so let's move on to makeup this year my makeup has been pretty basic I haven't um, I have tried not to buy a lot of eyeshadow palettes focusing on other parts of my makeup kit that I felt were a little bit misloved, underloved by my constant need to buy eyeshadow palettes. Um, the one I, the one eyeshadow palette I've been using a lot this year is the Too Faced Chocolate Bar. It was my November favorite. It was my November favorite. Um, it is going on into December. Um, it, I am using another palette uh, a little more now, but that'll be in my December favorites next week in January sometime. Um, but I do love that um, palette. It's great. It smells great. It's got a nice mix of mattes and shimmers, and I'm just like, now you can see my mirror. Uh, <laughs> it's got a nice thing of mattes and shimmers. I really like it. It's good for every day. For foundation, I really love MAC Face and Body. I found that I've been going back to uh, MAC products for foundation a lot this year. This foundation is dewy and buildable and um, it comes off really easy. It's because it's a water-based, or it's a waterproof foundation, but it comes off really easy, which I think it doesn't get a lot of credit for. The other thing is, is you get a lot of foundation. This is the small one, and it's almost twice, it's 1.7 ounces of foundation, whereas most foundations are one, so you're getting almost double what you get for the same price, and it lasts. I know some people have a problem with it separating, as I just throw that. <laughs> um, I know some people have a problem with it separating. I haven't had that problem and I keep it in a dark place. I either keep it in my hall closet or in my medicine cabinet. Probably shouldn't keep it in the medicine cabinet. Hall closet's probably better, but I keep it in a dark place and out of direct sunlight and I haven't had any problem with the color and the pigment separating. I think it is a lot that the UV light people put it where it like on their window or in their bedroom and you can see the light coming in and it's gonna separate it. So make sure you just put it in a dark place and that's great. It's great for that. Um, keeping with the really dewy kind of skin-like finish, I've also been like crazy about Studio Care Blend by MAC, which is a powder, 
I think it's just a pressed powder. It might be considered a powder foundation. Um, but as you can see, I've totally hit pan on this one. This is the second one I've had this year. I'm in shade Light Plus, if that helps. Oh, and for studio, for face and body, I'm C2, which is another thing. This is one of the only MAC foundations that really color matches me well. Um, they don't make a lot of things in just the straight up C color, which is super annoying, but... Uh, I got to work with got to work with what you've got and that really matches well and the light plus works well over it um, I just warm it up with bronzer in the summer uh, and last in my foundation routine is a highlighter for my under eye as I get older I feel like my dark circles seem to start to come out a little bit more so to hide those I am using MAC prep and prime in radiant rose um, this is like the third one I've went through this year and I just put it like in the far corner here and then blend it out and then right here where it's really dark and then blend it out because I have really dark circles at the corners which are genetic. My father also has them and then they lighten up pretty much once they get to the middle of the eye. Like on the outside of the eye I don't really have anything. It's just right in that inner corner so I shellac it down with this. The Radiant Rose if you haven't seen is like a peachy rose um, highlighter. And it just looks great. Let me blend it out a little bit. So if you can see that. Like it looks really good blended out. So there's that. So we've done eyes, foundation, lipstick. Lipstick is really where I focus this year, I think. Um, I think it's where everyone's really focused this year. And I've got some really crazy bright colors that I wore in the winter, but... I feel like from about the midsummer on, I've been wearing lots of nudes, all different kinds of nudes and pinks, which isn't usual for me. Usually I'm a red lipstick kind of girl. So um, I've also really fallen in love with liquid lipstick. I hardly wear any, uh, I hardly wear any regular uh, tube lipstick anymore. I just like how it hugs your lips. It doesn't get on you. It doesn't get on the dog. It doesn't get on my boyfriend. It's transfer proof. It's you still get to wear lipstick. You still get to feel pretty, but you're not like fussing after it all day. So the two brands of liquid lipstick I've really been into are the ColourPop brand and the LA Splashes brand. So let's start with LA Splashes since I got them this summer. And the two colors from them I have been absolutely crazy for are Ghoulish which is this like super weird gray color is the best way I can describe it. It's like a gray beige color. Um, yeah, so it's like a gray beige color right there. Is there focus? Yeah, um, but with some like really dusty mauve lips and some like really basic eye, it's like really nice. And this stuff like once it dries, Oh, it's not quite dry. Once it dries down, it doesn't budge. It's there all day until I take coconut oil or olive oil and um, use that to get it off at night. Um, the other color from LA Splashes that I love is Latte Confession. Is that what it is? Yeah, Latte Confession. I almost thought it was Latte Confessional, but no. Um... So I've got that and this is like, this is that like Kylie Jenner color, right? Like that everybody's like crazy about, like Whirl. Um, it's a little bit like Mac Whirl. It's also like uh, uh, Kat Von D Lolita is really close to it. I just think this formula is more comfortable than Kat Von D. Um, I like a lot of her colors, but that formula just dries my lips out and I can't wear it every day. I can wear this every day. No problem. Uh, put a little lipstick or put a little lip balm on when I'm getting ready in the morning. Wipe it off before you put it on so that you have clean, dry lips. And then it lasts all day as well. And once it dries down, as you can see, like it's not, oh, it's still not dry. It takes a minute to dry down. Yeah, you can see the other one though. It's like, it won't go anywhere once you once you put it on, it won't go anywhere. So that's fun. The other liquid lick company I'm into is ColourPop. I was super reluctant to try them. I was like 
lipstick um, that's supposed to be pigmented in good quality, are you kidding me? But I finally broke down and ordered a bunch of shades at the beginning of fall and then they came out with their limited edition for fall and uh, stole my heart with these two beautiful pinky berry colors. Uh, this one is More Better, which I wear all the time and people seem to think is the... Um, when I wear it, people seem to think it is Doll Parts by Jeffree Star, but it is not. It is More Better by ColourPop, and it's just like a beautiful berry color, and then a little bit lighter berry, a little bit like mauvier, pinkier is Bad Habit. And so those are the colors that have been I have been obsessed with over this past like since like August like August September um yeah I really love the liquid lips that's the one thing that I think from 2014 that will carry over into it it's just so easy and I don't have to think about it so the last thing I wanted to touch on this afternoon or evening or morning whenever you're watching this the last thing I wanted to touch on today was hand care um, skincare for your hands. I am crazy about it. I was in high school when Madonna turned 40 and had that big MTV special and she kept talking and talking and talking and talking with her hands and I just kept looking at her hands being like she doesn't look like she's 40 but her hands were like super wrinkled and super cracked and super dried and like from that point in time I've had like this like obsession with slathering my hands in sunscreen and SPF or hand cream and sunscreen because like the last thing I want is like old looking hands because like you can put you can put stuff on your face to diminish wrinkles, but I feel like hands are a dead giveaway that you're starting to get older. So the routine I've come up with this year is from Julep. Um, I pretty much like their hand care stuff. I'm not a super big fan of their nail polish, but their hand care is the best I found. Um, so the first thing I do a couple times a week is the glycolic hand scrub from Julep and this is just uh, it's got some like pits in it like it's a little bit scrubby I don't know if you can see it it's a little bit scrubby it's a little bit scrubby and then it also has glycolic acid in it. You just put it on. I uh, scrub, 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 scrub. I also use this to take my to like help scrub down like my cuticle a little bit um, after I've pushed them back. After that, I douse all of my cuticles um, in Mighty Cuticle Nail Serum uh, Oil and Serum. It is great. It works great with uh, gel manicures. Um, before I take off gel polish, I will... It also comes in one of these convenient little applicators. Uh, after I take off gel, before I take off gel polish, I will put this all around the, my uh, skin where the acetone is going to touch and then put the acetone on top of the nail bed so it puts like a layer in between. I should just do all my nails since I started doing that, right? Um, it puts like a layer in between my skin and cuticle and the... Uh, my skin and cuticle and the acetone. So the acetone takes off the gel, gets at the gel polish, but it isn't like eating the skin around my finger because this is there like doing its moisturizing thing getting all warm in the thing getting all warm in the little like tin foil packets as well and then I follow that all up with a hand cream I have several hand creams I keep um what is it soap and glory hand food in my purse a lot I also have known to kept this in my purse a lot and this is rockstar and it is an anti-aging hand cream specifically and they has vitamin E coconut oil shea butter and glycerin in it it's super fast absorbing and it smells amazing oh, I've got this on it otherwise I would put I would put it on but I don't want to oil up my hand with the uh, with the swatches on it so um, yeah, it smells amazing. It absorbs super fast. I find it doesn't get on my knitting when I do that, but it's really good for um, 
merino lace weight yarns that seem to like stick a little bit. Just make sure you slather your hands up with this before you start and I don't have any problems with that. So yeah, that's been my beauty favorites that I've used throughout the whole year for 2015, or almost the whole year. Um, yeah, I am surprised at how much it's changed this year. Like, I feel like it was a, a big year of, like, changes where I switched out foundations I used and, like, every, for a long time and switched out eyeshadows that I had been using for a long time. And, um, yeah, so... That was it. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please hit that subscribe button, like it, tell your friends. You can also follow me on social media. All the links will be in the down bar. And I hope you have a great day. I'll see you in my next video. Bye.